Hello, the average cyclist here, and welcome to my review of the Wahoo Ticker Bluetooth enabled heart rate monitor. So basically, what you get in the box is the heart rate monitor sort of smart bit. That's the bit with the amp plus and Bluetooth um, antennas in. It takes a coin cell, single coin cell battery there. There is important information, which I don't think we really need. The strap itself and a quick start guide which again to be honest you don't need it's a super quick start guide so this is a strap that you get it's really comfortable it's much thinner than uh, the Garmin strap I'm replacing these two pads here are what read your, your heart rate you do need to make them moist before you put on the thing. I just lick lick this part. Um, you could just dab it with a bit of water if you think licking it's a bit disgusting, which it probably is. Um, it's really, really comfortable, nice and floppy, thin strap, and obviously it's uh, adjustable here using these two two parts. Once you've set it to the right um, right size, you probably will never touch it. These two poppers are how the heart rate um, sensor part connects to the strap and the pads. It's really straightforward. All you do is clip it on like that. And that's of course how you put on and take off the off the device there. So this is where you want your heart rate monitor set up. Just underneath your moves or boobs. Um, sensor in the middle. And then the two little pads sit just here, just either side of your nipple. Yeah. So as you can see here, it's trying to find uh, a bike computer or something to connect to. That's what these two flashing lights mean. Um, just going to go on to my Wahoo uh, here. Um, to get to the part where you add um, Devices, you press the back button, go down to add sensor, hold next to sensor, make sure, just make sure you're wearing it so that um, the device is definitely on. Um, once it does connect to the device, it will save ticker um, and the two lights on the front of the Wahoo will stop flashing as well. And there you go, and then you can see it's connected here with pretty good signal. So this is how you connect it to a Garmin watch. This watch does already have a uh, heart rate in it, but I'm just connecting it to the heart rate monitor just for um, um, demo purposes. So you're not after activity settings, you're after normal settings, and they're not heart rate monitor, but sensors and accessories, add new, search all, I'll give it a second, and then you can see it's found a heart rate monitor, click select to add. There you go, and now it's external heart rate is now connected. So this is how you connect the heart rate monitor with Zwift. It's quite straightforward, just log in as your, yourself. Click heart rate, it will search, it finds it. You do not need to connect it to your iPad or anything via Bluetooth, it just finds it straight away. So when it comes to the reliability and the quality of the data, I've had absolutely no issues with it cutting out. It connects straight away every time and the, the, the data is, seems to be really good. I'll put a picture in of uh, an, in, an interval workout that I did on Zwift because it's got a really nice trend and you can really see how reliable the data is. And my max heart rate uh, is 192, which is exactly the same as what I got on the, the, Garmin, mount, uh, the Garmin monitor that I've had for about four years. So the main reason I bought this, because um, uh, there was actually nothing wrong with my with my Garmin one, other than the fact that it was scratched across the front here from when I when I'd uh, 
fallen off my bike was just because of the Bluetooth connectivity. I've started doing a bit more on Zwift using my iPad and the Garmin heart rate monitor that I had was only AMP plus, whereas this is Bluetooth. It's much more comfortable than the, the, than the Garmin uh, one I had. There's not much else to say other than it just works. Literally, you don't know you're wearing it. It connects to all your devices like that. Uh, and it's 40 quid. 40 quid for a Bluetooth and AMP Plus enabled heart rate monitor is really, really good. Uh, there is um, a slightly um, more feature-rich version of the ticker called the Ticker X, I think, which is 60 or 70 pounds, and it's got a bit of a memory, so you think you can use it while you're out without your phone or device. And uh, then when it, when you get back, it, it it syncs with whatever device you've got. Uh, this does work, or might might also have some running features as well, but it's not. I would certainly never use that. Uh, it does work with uh, any device. I know he showed it using my my Wahoo, but it does connect to anything which is Bluetooth or AMP Plus enabled. So you connect it to Apple TV, iPhone, your Android phone, Garmin, Polar, Suntu, wh whatever you've got, it will will work. Just really can't fault it. Uh, so that's it really. Uh, please like and subscribe if you've got any questions. Just let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Cheers.